Team coverage continues right now with Rick Ritter. He's live at the Baltimore Sun offices in downtown Baltimore. And we know Rick officers were stationed outside the um, Sun just as a precaution today, as we saw in many newsrooms across the nation. Mary, they certainly had a scary incident here. But real quick, before we get into that, I just want to rehash. We know five people dead. Three people injured, and so many have questions about what happened, looking for answers, especially people here walking by, trying to figure out a motive behind this heinous shooting. I spoke with a law enforcement source, a local one a short time ago, who told me, Rick, we still have so much work to do in terms of trying to find out more information about this suspect, getting into his computers, getting into his phone, trying to find out the motive behind this shooting. So I just wanted to put that out there real quick. Jumping back to the scary situation here at the Baltimore Sun, a couple of hours ago, initially when all of this was playing out, they had a phone call come in for a report of an active shooter here at this building. Now, police say there was no immediate threat or no threat whatsoever, but that is what the initial call came in as earlier today, an active shooter at the Baltimore Sun. Now, it was chaos in this area, to say the least. We have some video of that if you're taking a look at it right now. Police swarming this area, getting down here immediately, doing a sweep of the building, trying to make sure everything was okay. And again, they cleared this building. There was no threat whatsoever. But of course, because the Baltimore Sun owns the Capitol Gazette, that's why there was some confusion when that initial call came in. Governor Hogan earlier today talking about how quick the response was, obviously here at the Baltimore Sun doing that safety check, and then at the Capitol Gazette, it went, uh, Capitol Gazette as well. Here's what he had to say. First of all, um, our, our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families, and um, I want to thank the, the uh, law enforcement professionals who responded. Our emergency response team was is, they did an incredible job. They're still doing the job right now, but the fact that they responded within 60 seconds, I want to, I want to give uh, serious praise to uh, Anne Arundel County and the city of Annapolis uh, for, for their response. And we were here with the state agencies to back them up. We have federal agencies. Uh, it's a tragic uh, situation. We can't, we don't have all the information yet, and we can't give all the information yet because it's an active crime scene and investigation. Again, a scary situation that played out here at the Baltimore Sun, but everything was okay. Baltimore City Police, I spoke with them a short time ago, stepping up security here at this building and other news outlets throughout the area. It's important to note, and we talked about this a little bit earlier, a lot of these reporters here at the Baltimore Sun, there's a good amount of them that came through the Capitol Gazette. They worked there. I had a chance to speak with one of them who tells me that newsroom is extremely small, only about 20 people or so in there. So if a situation like this were to play out, which it did, really nowhere to go and that is scary to think about back to you i should say thank you very much rick